My name, uh, I'm Simon Marshall. I'm the Chief Executive Officer for, for Waz Alokur & Co. Uh, we're a retail business, uh, mall business, listed on the Saudi Stock Exchange. Today, uh, we trade 1,576 stores. Uh, we represent brands like Zara, the rest of the Inditex Group, uh, Gap, Marks & Spencers, Aldo, uh, Nine West, some of the world's leading brands. We have a portfolio of 70 brands, uh, representing probably the world's top 25. Uh, we trade in Saudi Arabia, in Jordan, in Lebanon, in Egypt, in Morocco, in Algeria, uh, soon to trade in Libya. We also trade in Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Georgia, Armenia, soon to be Belarusia and Albania. And we've recently acquired the monsoon business in the United States of America. So it's, uh, the business has gone through a, a rapid growth. Over the last four years, the business has developed uh, from 560 stores in Saudi Arabia to 1,576 stores across 12 markets. Um, you know, the, the, the share price has gone from 21 to 103, uh, which is always good. The market caps move forward at that rate as well. And uh, yeah, the, the business has gone on a good, on a good, good growth curve. When the world's been tight, well, we've been growing. And uh, this year alone, we'll open 411, uh, 411 stores across uh, probably 27 brands. I think all of them still have potential growth. So Saudi Arabia, for example, uh, Saudi Arabia is the powerhouse of the Middle East. So if you look at the, the, the population of Saudi Arabia, it is the equivalent of the rest of the Middle East uh, added together. So therefore it is, and this year alone we'll open 220 stores in Saudi Arabia, and we've got a further 200 plans for next year. So there's still plenty of room to grow. Emerging markets where there's plenty of opportunity, for me, is Central Asia and the Caucasus regions. Uh, you know, they're very much like the Middle East, where East was 10 years ago. So, you know, we've recently entered the market with Inditex, with GAP, with Marks & Spencer's Monsoon, as we said. Uh, we've opened, over the last year alone, 140,000 square metres in those markets. Uh, the return per square metres are fantastic. It's very, very healthy. Uh, and it's very interesting. And I think very similarly, if you look at the Middle East, where we're still growing and we've now developing in Central Asia, I think probably in a year, 18 months' time, North Africa, through Algeria, through Morocco and through Libya, will very much be the place to focus and grow the businesses through as well, eventually coming down through Central Africa. Mapix a, Mapix a great place for, for a number of reasons. The first one is, it's actually what I get to see everybody who I associate with in one place. So I can do in Mapix in two days what I can fly around the world doing in three months, uh, through the meetings, through the event. But more importantly, it gives you a feel for, first of all, what real estate's available across the world, what everybody else is doing, what's on offer, because obviously through our own businesses we want to be at the fore edge of what's happening in the world and therefore it's great to see new ideas. From a brand perspective it gets to see what brands are doing very well, what brands are emerging, what brands are going into an international arena and, and the main reason that we, we obviously come from here is from the networking point of view. We get to meet with all the people that we want to do and we can visit a place like Mapic and take, take away five years work, uh, which we can uh, on development and everything else, on deals that have been done in this very room. You know, anybody, I think if you're a new brand and you want to look about how to come to, yes, it's a great showroom to, to, to showcase your brand. But before you come, make sure you do your homework. Make sure you know what you want from your brand because there are lots of people here with lots of ideas that will take opportunities. And the skill is selecting the right partners and the right people in order for them to be able to what's best for your brand. So do your homework first. Understand what markets you want to go into. Understand where your product fits into those markets. Understand how the logistics are going to work into those markets. And then when you come here, don't come here with a machine gun approach of just seeing everybody. Have a very sniper approach. Get your meetings booked and you'll get the maximum benefit from the event.